These USB powered devices can help you connect your PC or laptop to a wireless network, which means you can finally get rid of making hotspot via USB. It will prevent your smartphone from overcharging and ultimately helping your phone have an extended life. Both of these dongles are from TP-Link and can be bought for under 800 rupees. But the question rises, which one should you buy? So in this video, we will be testing both of these with a far off Wi-Fi on the lower floor and then by making a mobile hotspot which will be resting on the same table. We hope this video will help you make a better informed decision. With that said, welcome to Parke Deko and let's begin the main question. Which of this should you buy? The answer lies in the question. How far will be the device from the internet source? If it is in the same room, then you can go with the nano USB solution. It's tiny and will not take much space. For a laptop on the go, in the same room, you can also go with this nano USB dongle. But if the router is in the next room or maybe on a different floor, then you should get a high gain USB adapter. Will this big antenna help in getting better range and signal reception? Let's find out in the scenario one. For the speed test, I have opened the speedtest.net website and I have chosen the server which is close to my location and I will be doing this test two times so that we can have a fair idea of how the speed is because speed is variable in nature so let's just have a rough idea of it. So we got the download speed of around 5.40 Mbps. and upload is around 10. So basically the download is 5.40 and the upload is around 11 Mbps. So let's just do it one more time. So you can see the download speed is around 5.49 and the upload is 12.09. So this is what the speed I'm getting with high gain wireless USB adapter. So now let's test the nano receiver. Let's see what kind of speed we get with it. So the TP-Link nano receiver is in the computer. The server is already the one which is close to my place. And uh, let's just go and have a look. So the download speed is 3.75 which is slightly lower than the one which we were getting with the high gain wireless USB adapter. So the upload has also taken a hit here. So let's just do it again. So you can see the download speed is 3.68 which is still lower than the 5 point something that we were getting with the high gain wireless USB adapter. So certainly the uh, upload has taken a significant jump but it's still lower than what we were getting with the high gain wireless. Uh, after the second test you can see the speed is 3.68 and 4.36 which is slightly lower than what we were getting with the high gain wireless USB adapter. So in scenario one, we have a winner, which is a TP link high gain wireless USB adapter. So let's just make a mobile hotspot and make a speed test. So in this scenario two, we are going to do the speed test using the mobile hotspot. So that is why I have put the router in the front with vertical antenna because uh, earlier it was upside down because the router as I said in the beginning that was on the bottom floor or the lower floor so now uh, it's on the same floor so I have done it like this so let's open the speed test website and give it a shot guys for this speed test the server is the one which is close to my place and let's give it a shot
so the download speed is 19.91 which is much much more than what we had in the round one but we are under the transition guys so that is why the speed is taking a hit right now in this test we got the download speed as 19.91 and the upload as 3.46 so let's go for a second round time around we also got the speed as 20.73 which is good i mean you don't you will not have any issues streaming videos or move watching movies or anything like that 20 mbps is good and about the upload speed it's going to be around 5 mbps that's 4.58 so we got 20.73 as download and uh, 4.58 as upload using the high gain wireless usb adapter let's get the nano adapter and let's see what kind of speed we are getting so just like in the previous round, I have connected the TP-Link adapter in the front because we are using the mobile hotspot and uh, again, just like that, the um, again we have selected the server which is close to our place and let's give it a shot. So the download speed we had was 20.73 and 4.58. So let's see what we are getting with the TP-Link nano receiver. So in the first round we got 19.1 as download and 3.7 as upload. So let's just give it another shot and let's see what kind of speeds we get. So this time around we got 20.36 which is exactly similar to what we had with the uh, high gain wireless adapter. So in close range I don't think you will have much of a difference between choosing between the two so uh, one thing that I have observed using both the devices is that the Wi-Fi range is never full and, you know it just stays at like 30 40 percent the way it is right now but this however doesn't affect the viewing experience for example here's a, here's a video that I just played see an ad is loading which is a skippable ad which is good so, so this is at uh, 1080p you can see the buffering has already crossed the volume bar and it's 1080p hd so you can have an idea that the buffering is going fast but it's not an issue so uh, yeah i mean that is what i observed by using both of these devices so let me just uh, tell you something which i felt If you will be using your internet in the same room, then I would advise going with the TP Nano receiver. It's economical. It's like 100 or 200 rupees lesser than the high gain one. But if you are far off from the router or you are on the different floor, then you should uh, give it a try. It, it gives more stable speeds and uh, it performs better. Whereas TP-Link, it is good for short range. I mean, if you are in a closed room and you feel like having any connection, this one also has no issues with that. But to be on a safer side and if you will be working from home or you need faster internet speeds, then you should go with this TP-Link high gain 150 Mbps. I hope this video is helpful for you in making better decision. If it did, then please like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you around.